Good morning, Wendy Antonucci here, and I am working with Bella Boulevard and the Mind Your Manners collection. So I have the six by eight paper pad, and I've actually gone and pulled a few of the pieces out of there. This blue dot, the grayish color, and then this frame piece. And then I have the uh, epoxy icons and the pennants. And here are, is the sticker page and some chipboard. I also pulled out these acrylic words, happy, smile. And then I have the die cuts, Ephemera. And I've actually already sorted those and found the ones that I'm kind of thinking I might use in today's layout. So I have these pictures. They're from um, Black Friday, or actually Thanksgiving. This is what we like to do while we wait for our dinner. And we go through the Black Friday papers and make our list. So I thought this would be a great one to use with the family collection or this gather collection because our whole family was together and this is a project, this is something we do every year and the kids really look forward to it. All right, so this is where I'm starting. And I love these six by eight pages because I don't have to end up using a whole pattern. Like if I use this whole pattern paper, first of all, it is on the back of the border page, which I don't wanna cut up yet but also it would be a lot of pattern. So what I was thinking is it really works well because there's a lot of white, but there is this a lot of gray, but now I need a pop of colors. So I think this is kind of what I was thinking so far. Now I love the three by four or four by six cards and both of these, I like the pop of color and I liked what it said. I thought that worked really well. So I think I'm just gonna start this off here. For me, when I design a layout, I always start with a photo block. My photo block in this, well, it always has a photo, and I usually find some sort of card that will be either my title or just a point of interest. So this is where I, what I have so far. I really like this pattern, um, so I'm thinking, let's see here, if we can squeeze it in somewhere. Kind of like that. Because once I have a photo block, it is, as it says, block, it's very blocky. And then I like to either pull my page vertically, horizontally, or even on a diagonal, depending on my different elements that I have to work with. So at the moment, I am happy with this. I think it uh, tells my story. It's kind of where I'm heading. All right, now, I found, this says family. I thought that looked really neat. Um, so I was thinking maybe happy family. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch these out um, just to kind of get some placement since this is my bigger items. And I am, it was really nice that the uh, backing stays on so that I don't have to place them yet. I can just move them around because I'm not sure where I'm going to put them at the moment. So I'm gonna pop these out. And this one's a little stuck. This one didn't give me, there we go. This one, the backing came off. I do recommend uh, using some other adhesive with any chipboard you use. It's just, um, I found over the years that sometimes that chipboard is not there uh, when you go to look at your pages later on. So I'm thinking maybe, hmm, there's a lot of open space here, which I like, but maybe if I moved this down into that area, it would help fill it up a little bit better. Yep. Something like that. Actually, I think a little bit farther down would work. While I like that open space, I don't want, um, don't want anything to feel like it just got lost or forgotten. All right, so I kinda like that. So now I'm going to get out without breaking 
the one that says happy and they are stuck on with little glue dots so be careful because I have managed to break them before um, I'm going to take that off again so that I can move it around and it doesn't get stuck so I kind of like that either way it could go over or over that way depending on what else I add in I believe all right, now, because this is a family, our family, and we weren't at our house, actually. We were at my great-grandparents' house. I want to put some sort of house. So I did find um, this one in the Ephemera pack. Um, I like that. We also have the chipboard ones. Um, so I'm going to just pop out one or two. Kind of looks a little bit too uh, modern. We definitely weren't in a modern house. I like that, but it might be too small. I think I like that one better. This one was nice, um, but a lot of blue. So I'm thinking that might be my better option. All right, so next. Um, I found these um, little tabs and I kind of thought maybe that would work there. I really like the My Tribe, and because of the green, it kind of helps pull your eye around. So let me see. Make somewhere right there. So I don't know if I want two tabs. Um, have to think about that. Now, I do have all these little pictures I was hoping to get in. Um, just cute ones of the kids picking their stuff. Um, and what I was thinking is I could use these frames that were in the Ephemera and kind of highlight them. And then I'll trim it down. So I was thinking maybe that. And then and here was another one. Um, this one might be too tiny to fit. I don't know. I think that'll fit. But I was thinking they could go there. Um, now, that was also why I pulled this page out because I thought I could fussy cut that one, which would add in a pop of red, and then one of my bigger pictures would fit in there. So I might still take that one out. Um, going with the fact that the owls were sitting in there, and I thought that was kind of cute, I really like the, um, the fox, but there's all these cute little owls. And I thought it would be neat to, well, I didn't want to mix them necessarily. So I'm thinking, I don't know if I like that there. I want to get that picture in because I thought it was kind of funny. My son with his working so hard and with his coffee mug and I guess he's kind of growing up. Um, so I thought it'd be cute just to kind of scatter these owls around. And maybe over here. And so that's why I'm not sure that the fox would look good in there. I, I think he's really cute and I'd love to use him, but I'm not sure that he fits. So I kind of like that right now. That's my basic setup, I think. Um whether or not I can get these little pictures in, I'm not really sure. I could cluster them down here, and that would work fine also. All right, I am back. I've put down everything that we had talked about. Um, I did find a frame to go over my son here. I rearranged a little bit here. You can see the red kind of pulls you around. It makes a circle. Um, the green, there's triangle there of course the blue there's plenty of blue now there are eight of us um, in our family so one two three four five six I only have six little owls um, so I thought I'd add some more in um, I found two more chipboard ones and a big pink one I am NOT finding room for all these um, I, I think it just looks too cluttered then so then I thought, well, I have six kids. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So technically there's six. 
Um, oh, so there's six on there already. I missed that one. So I only need two more. I did find these two chipboard and I was kind of looking at this. Um, I like this here because there's a lot of gray here um, just because that's how it worked out. Um, so I might do that because it kind of looks like it's perched on that happy. So I do like that, but before I definitely put those down, I wanted to take a look at the stickers, the pennants, and the um, epoxy stickers. Um, I don't think I want any of these big things. I could use that blue one up there, but I think it's not quite what I was looking for. It would work down here. Um, but I'm not sure that's something I want to add in. I do like this family is everything sticker, but again, it, I think it would go there and I'm just not sure that it would help my layout any. I, I think it just would be a piece that I would add in. I had originally planned on using these and while I think I could do that fam there, I'd have to take off the My Tribe and I really like the My Tribe. So I think this didn't make it on there either. Next, I'm gonna take a look at the stickers. Um, there's these. So, love you for always. I think I will probably put that down here because it goes with the owl theme. It adds in a little bit more green, so I like that. So, I'm gonna add that one. And I think just kind of right there. That's down too far. I like how it's here and just a little bit off-centered, I believe. Um, I like that it hangs over. Uh, so it pulls that all together. Um, let's see here. There's some really good ones, but I'm not sure they're ones that I want to add in. I do like that little owl, and I wonder if, but there's a lot of green now. If anything, I might be looking for this lighter blue because there's it's there, it's on this bird, but it's not really over here. I mean, it's on there, but nothing else. Um, there's a forever, there's a little tag, our story. Uh, I don't know. I'm wondering if I can get this little tag on there. So I'm going to take a look at this real quick. Mm, maybe out here. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. But I do kind of like it under that. But I'd have to take up that Y. And then I'd have a little bit of blue going around. So I actually think I do like that. Um, the other thing that you'll find in a lot of my stuff that I do is I like a border either on the side, the top, or the bottom. The top and the bottom are full. There's no room. This is full. This kind of runs off the page. And while that's fine, I wanted to consider these border stickers. So... The first one I was looking at was this blue. I kind of like that. It, it seems like it's finished. Um, it kind of pulls you all the way over also. So I really like that. Uh, here's the red. The red seems a little splashy and almost too much for the layout. Um, the green squiggles, not gonna work. So I'm thinking I do, while I like this, I kind of like it with that edge. To me, it's just not finished yet. And you could sew, you could use pen lines, but since Bella Boulevard has provided these nice thin strips, I think I'm going to go this route. There. So yeah, I like that. It doesn't need to go there, it's just something that I personally like. And so I'm going to stick down this little owl because I really like that one. I'm still debating on that one because I could add in some more uh, words, sticker, you know, phrase stickers there. So I kind of let him hang over. Um, so now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I put that in, I have our whole family, which would be nice. I don't think I like it anywhere else because that could be the other option. That kind of works there too, but then that's empty. And this is kind of full. Um, 
I don't like that there's the two chipboards there, so I am thinking that is going to get to go there. Um, one more look. I already have my tribe on there. I don't really want to bring in orange. Uh, we already had the blue nail. I have family on there. Um, our story, the best is yet to be. Believe in love. Uh, nothing I really have to have. So I think this is my finished layout. I am going to add some of my journaling. I always journal at the end. I always just grab my pen. I've got my Illustrated Faith pen here. This is the .65 tip, which is a little thick for my writing, I believe. I'm not sure about the 25, .25, and then there is the .35, and I don't know where it is right now. But to me, if I add it afterwards, like, this is full. So I could add in just a little bit right here, and it'll pull it down, but it won't distract from anything. Um, I could write around here if I had a lot to write, but that would make this quite busy. I could also add it up here just a little bit, maybe where we were, seeing that we were away. Um, but anyway, so there's my layout, and I will show you some final pictures, and I will also include the links to purchase the um, Mind Your Manners collection by Bella Boulevard below in my description. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.